Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to add images to a custom cell in UI collection view. So this is a sample project which I already created and you can see like bunch of flags. Uh, the thing is I already got this images from the internet and I suggest you do it as well. The thing is my images are already round but I will show you how to make them round even if you have like a square or rectangle images. So don't worry, uh, really easy to implement and we will be using Xcode 11 and Swift 5 but definitely works with Xcode 10 and Swift 4. So let's get started. I'll create a new Xcode project and of course a single view app and we will say next and this will be my let's say country collection view and uh, of course uh, make sure you add some something like along with collection view because if you just say collection view there is a chance that this project will clash with uh, Swift library make sure language is Swift and user interface is storyboard and next and save it wherever you like I will save it under recordings and we are done so first thing first let me drag and drop my uh, flags so all of them goes here and uh, for, I'll double click on my view controller file and like open in a new window so that I can see it here actually like I, I just want to create the variable first because there's a chance that I'll forget so let me put it here and here let me just say so let countries equal to array and this will be first is Brazil and second one is Canada third is Germany fourth is India, fifth is Japan, and I think sixth is UK and USA, so let me just do that, almost done, UK, and another one is USA. So, yep, we are good, I just wanted to do this, and let me expand this, this will be iPhone 11, and uh, Okay, we, we got it here. So next thing, first, uh, let's go to main.storyboard and we need our collection view. So let me get it from our object library and drag and drop over here in the center. And next thing, we need to give some constraints. So this will be, of course, zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, and zero from bottom and hit enter. So you should see something like this. Next thing, we need to make some couple of changes to our custom cell. Like this is our custom cell. Uh, and first thing first, make sure you are selecting collection view and go to size inspector. And here you will, uh, instead of estimate size being automatic, you will change it to custom and you will say width is 100 and height is 100 and hit enter. Next thing in section inset, we will say 10 from top, 10 from bottom, 10 from left, and 10 from right. So this will give like uh, some good looking spacing over here. And under minimum spacing for cell, of course, let it be 10. But for lines, we will change it to, uh, let's say 20, 20 looks good. And next thing, you will go ahead and select your collection view cell. And first things first, you will go to size and uh, attribute inspector and give it identifier. And identifier, we will, I'll say country cell. Uh, you can give whatever string you like, but make sure you don't forget. So for now, I suggest you give it country cell so we are consistent. And under size inspector, I'll say, of course not size is automatic, we'll make it custom. And once again, change it to 100 and 100 as well for height. So looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and drag and drop uh, image view. So this will go here and make it like just small enough to fit inside the collection view for now. And yeah, let, uh, let's just give it some constraints. So first of all, horizontally and vertically in container. Next thing, we will have a fixed width and height of 100 and 100. So 100 and 100 and hit enter and looks pretty good. Uh, okay, 
looks good on the main dot storyboard part next thing we need a new file so this will be a subclass of ui collection view cell and uh, yeah of course make sure you are subclassing of ui collection view cell uh, and i will say let's say we can say country cell country cell and hit next and you can save it and uh, you can see this file and hit command s like just to make sure it's saved next thing we need to have our connections with our files our swift files so i'll fire up my assistant editor and first uh, you can see it's a view controller so let's get it connected with our collection view so here we can say country co collection view and hit enter and next thing uh, over here make sure you select content view like uh, select something under country cell don't select country cell otherwise you will not get uh, like okay I'm still not getting the option oh yeah we forget so make sure you select the country cell for now go uh, bring this here uh, go to class inspector and we will assign our the the file which we created so this will be country cell yeah we forget it but okay once you are done you will go and select content view which is like right below country cell or you can select image view and now if you go here you can see country cell and now we will connect our image view and we can say uh, country image view and pretty insane so just to have a feel of it make sure like this country image view is selected and we can go over here and we can select the image you know so let me select india and we can see india flag here and another thing under view make sure content mode is aspect fit so i'll close this we don't need assistant editor now uh, go to view controller and so here first things first we need to assign delegate and data source to our country collection view so we'll say country collection view dot uh, delegate is e equal to self and next thing is country collection view dot data source is equal to self next thing we need to confirm to two protocols so let me create one extension for our view controller and first protocol is ui collection view delegate and another one is collection view data source so in order to confirm to ui collection view data source we need this method so first is number of items in section and another one is cell for item at index path so it's just the cell but uh, we need uh, one more function which is number of sections and i'll just say one and for number of items in section we will just return uh, countries dot count and for our method cell for item at uh, let me go ahead and create a cell first so let's cell equal to country collection view so this is this and i'll say dot and we'll say dq reusable cell with reusable identifier and for index path once again this identifier is so for me it's country cell and this identifier is something which i asked you to give so once again make sure country cell is selected open this and under attribute inspector you can find it under identifier so if you did not give it before just go ahead and put some string here and make sure you hit enter go back to the view controller and put it over here the same string so anyways for index path will be index path and this time we will cast it as our country cell well this country cell it's the file name which we created earlier and for now let's just return the cell and it should be fine uh, and next thing we need to assign the image view so we will say cell dot country image view dot image is equal to ui image and this will be named and uh, the name will be uh, we will get it from the countries array so let me say countries and here we will pass index path dot row 
And uh, next thing I told you, if you're, you have images which are like square or rectangle, uh, this is for them, but my images are already round. So I'll say cell dot layer dot uh, corner radius and this will be cell dot frame dot height and this will be divided by two and let's run the app for one last time and see how it looks so this is my sample project and this is our something which we created just now and it's opened up so okay uh, okay, we can see it looks pretty good, but uh, we are missing this title like not a big deal But I, I just like it. It feels more cleaner. So let me go ahead and do that So go back uh, stop this go back to main dot storyboard and here We will make sure view controller is selected and over here like the one with the arrow going down and just a box uh, If you hover over it will say embed in so click there and you will just say navigation controller and slide over here and give it a title whatever you like so let's say countries uh, and here we will say large title always and let's run the app for one last time and see how it looks okay now both of them looks pretty similar the only difference is this is iphone x and this is iphone 11 so it's just uh, bigger uh, but you can take note of the like the line spacing which we give 20 looks much much better uh, Anyways, if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for future content until next time